Hey everybody, it's your boy Slim Anthem here, and welcome back to another episode of Anthem News. Um, sorry guys, I haven't really been posting in the past couple weeks. This is probably the longest uh, I've gone without posting a video um, ever since I took that hiatus back in 2014, where I stopped my first channel in May and then didn't pick it up until July that year. But uh, I kind of told you guys this uh, ahead of time that this was all going to happen in the last video, the last Anthem News video. Um, yeah, progress has kind of been slowing down on my channel. Um, not kind of, it actually is slowing down a lot. And mainly that's because I need to take time to work on college because I got a lot going on. I just simply don't have the time to to sit around and and work on busting out videos left and right. and. Also, I gotta take time to think of ideas for future videos as well. I'm, um, I'm not giving up on YouTube. I'm still gonna keep going with it. Um, it's just I'm preoccupied with other things too. I mean, heck, I haven't even had time to even boot up my Xbox. Like, my Xbox has just been sitting in my room for the past week and a half. I have not played Xbox. I haven't played a lick of it in over two weeks. Like that's that's how bad of a deficit. I've been going through. Um, so yeah, it's not over, guys. I'm still going strong, and I want you guys to hold out and just bear with me for a while, because um, this is this is just gonna be a temporary setback until I can get up, get things going again. I mean, my channel's activity probably won't pick up again until around Thanksgiving break to. Uh, to Christmas break somewhere around that area that's when things will start picking up again it's just that I've been got I've been having so many things going on with class and extracurriculars like meetings and intramurals all that also I've actually been working um, with filming with one of my friends Jake that I made on the floor um, we began a new uh, YouTube channel that we're actually um, that we're actually making videos for if you guys want to check it out, it's called Impractical Students. It's been inspired by the Impractical Jokers famous TV show on True TV. Um, so yeah, we kind of do pranks around campus and and whatnot. Um, you guys will have to check it out if you want. Uh, yeah, we're this week we're gonna do an elevator prank, which is gonna be pretty funny because we got some props for that. But I'm really looking forward to this uh, speech prank that we're doing. So in a way, I feel like that channel's been kind of drawing my presence from this channel away. So that's where I am. In the uh, YouTube world, I'm more concentrated on Impractical Students than on Anthem Gaming slash Daily Nation. So that's where I've been. But um, yeah, this isn't, I'm not, I'm not kissing my ass goodbye on you, on being the being the slim anthem you guys all know and love and making videos and all that. It's going to, things are going to slow down and pick back up. It's all, it's all going to happen like this. If I were to, if I were to shut down my channel and just be like, yeah, this isn't working out. I would let you guys know ahead of time, but this is just a minor temporary setback. Um, that in mind, I also brought this to your guys' attention last video that um, I will no longer be uploading GTA Weekly anymore. It's just hard to keep up with doing that, especially rushing videos, and I don't like rushing videos because if, if I rush videos, nobody's going to watch it if, for some half-assed content. Like, it's got to take some time, i got to think things th thoroughly, and like I mentioned, GTA has just kind of played its course, like GTA 5 it's been out for five years now. Five years. Can you guys believe that? It's been out for over five years now. It came out in September of 2013 and online started that October and now it's October 2018. Where has time gone guys? And this upcoming January it will mark my five year presence of being on YouTube. Now, whether I can admit to being a YouTuber for five years 
kind of iffy on that because I haven't had a presence every week with uploading videos. And of course there was that long hiatus where I stopped posting for like two months, but I'm still going to take that in stride because five years is a long time to be dedicated to a cause like this. And I'm looking forward to reaching that, that goal at some point. But I do have videos up in the works that I'm working on putting together down the down the road. Um, I have extra footage, like content that I have put together from, or like stuff from past games and Call of Duty World War II and all that. So I kind of got all that wrapped together. And what I was thinking I was going to do with that is I was going to do like a super cut video at the end of the year to kind of show my 2018 review. I really wish I would have saved other content too, stuff that was funny, so that way I can reference to that in the video. But instead, this is going to be like a cut of stuff that never made it onto YouTube. Um, I also wanted to do a video in Black Ops 3 where, where I complete... Um, you know that little simulation training thing? I was gonna post a video where I complete that on, what's it called, realistic? Yeah, realistic game difficulty. Um, I made it as far as wave either 14 or 15, I can't remember. So I have those rounds recorded. Now if I can get all the way back up to there and then finish it at that point, then I can upload the video as like a how-to guide for you guys. Um, but who knows if I'll ever get to that. Um, but two big releases in games that came out recently, as you guys are well aware, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I gotta keep these game names right, uh, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 came out at the beginning of October, um, will it live up to his promise? I don't know, I sure as hell ain't even gonna play the game, I'm not even gonna touch it, like, Black Ops 3, I was barely even considering it. My friends eventually convinced me because of the zombies and I wanted to play it. Um, turned out turned out to be a pretty good game, but of course it's hard to get yourself motivated to play the game when you don't play Xbox as it is. And I still want to reach my goal of getting to 10th prestige on uh, Call of Duty World War II by the end of this year. So I got to pick up the pace on that because I've been cutting myself way too much slack. I had like a two prestige lead where I had a system where I need to go through one prestige each month, or each month, each month in order to get to 10th prestige by the end of December. But um, that two prestige lead after all of this screwing around, well not screwing around, but focusing on school has dwindled down. So now I'm going to be pressed for time. In November just trying to get to ninth prestige um, was that the goal or was it to get to master prestige I don't even know but I think I just wanted to get to 10th prestige in general by the end of 2018 but another big release that came out um, just this last week was Red Dead Redemption 2 I haven't checked out any of the gameplay for that yet my brother actually bought the game he said that for the 20 minutes worth that he spent playing, because it took like an hour for him to download and everything, um, he said that it was worth it, but he would have to play more just to figure out all the all the things that kind of go into it. Because I hear that there's like a lot of um, there's a lot of things like controls and features and stuff you gotta keep track of when you're playing the game. So. I may have to look at some content online just to see like what people think about the game in general. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in seeing how that turns out and who knows, maybe I'll get the game for Christmas. Um, that would bring me a lot of fresh new content for my channel, but that will all depend. Um, we'll see how things turn out. Um, GTA 5 will eventually die out, but kind of like my Minecraft series. Yeah, Minecraft's dead, guys. I'm sorry. The, I, I keep telling you guys that some of these series I'm going to keep bringing back will come back at some point, but to be honest, if I haven't uploaded a video in it for like in like the past two years, it's probably dead. Um, 
but yeah, I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna upload GTA 5 videos every now and then periodically, just trying to see what things are going on. I still gotta finish those contact missions. I think I got like three left to do, which will be easy. I can just knock it out just like that. I'll be satisfied if I can at least get to episode 250 in GTA 5, which is a lot of weeks spent playing the game. I think this week would have to be, I think this week if I kept playing would mark either episode 251 or 250. I'm not quite sure. I've lost track and it's been such a pain in the ass in the past just to keep up with it as it is. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for fresh new content to, to bring to the table. Now that I'm done doing the Halo Reach campaign, it's like, what other campaigns can I do that I haven't done yet? And I don't want to play a bunch of irrelevant games. Um, like, I don't even know if I'll even finish my Lucky Luke series that I started um, back in the summer of 2017. It all just kind of depends from there. Like, I came up with this list. Let me, let me show you. Let me tell you guys. I crossed out a lot of this stuff because some of the stuff I'm never going to even get to finish. But, um... Yeah, of course there's that Lucky Luke series that I gotta finish. Um, I was gonna do a series in Madden Football, but realistically, it's probably not gonna happen because I don't even play sports games as it is, and I don't have the time to sit around, make a team, and keep up with that, and yada yada yada. Um, I will finish the Battlefield 1 campaign at some point. I've been putting that off for way too long, and Honestly, I, would, I was going to keep working on it this semester, but school has just kind of kept me back, and plus I've been focusing on other videos as it is. But I will finish that. I was going to do a campaign series in Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Probably not going to happen. I may end up canceling that. Um, yeah, some of this other stuff I'm not even going to focus on. Like, I'm not going to... I'm not going to cover the... Uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon series. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing Saints Row 4. I've already played that game once and it was good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really funny, but I honestly can't see myself um, finding the motivation to get back into that. You guys remember Call of Duty World at War Final Fronts? That PlayStation 2 series I started back at the beginning, like in the May of 2017. I'll keep that on there just in case if I ever get back to that. But like a best of 2018 compilation or kind of bonus footage, that video is in the works. It'll come out at the end of the year. Um, I want to bring the Bible game back, at least do one more game of that. Because um, I thought that was pretty fun. Um, Black Ops 3 Parkour, that was kind of like a little side thing I wanted to start. Kind of like my Tomahawk series, which is dead. That's in our series that's dead. Um, yeah, I was thinking about getting started with that and working on it, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I may not even get to it at all. So, but I'm keeping it on there just in case. And that's all that I have left on here that I did not cross out. As you can see, there's a shit ton of writing on here. And these were ideas I came up with at the beginning of 2018. As you can see, I never got to most of these because <laughs> most of it is either redos of past campaigns I've done or video ideas which turned out to be horrible in the first place like you guys know the game Twister well there's like another thing called like Twister moves where you like follow like you do like footsteps and all that to like the pace of the CD and like following the instructions that idea was stupid. I actually filmed the video and I concluded that this was the worst idea I ever came up with. Immediately deleted the video. I was pissed I even spent my time doing it. I don't like to just throw papers around without organizing them. So yeah, not doing that. Ain't messing with that shit. Um. But yeah, I wish I had like a list of shows that I started on this channel so I can just give you guys like a a 
kind of a reference point of like which shows are still active and which ones are dead but honestly it's hard it's hard to do that when you don't really when you're not really sure what you've even done in the past um betting i'm putting that to a, to a halt i may get to that at some point but it's not guaranteed uh first attempt still possible that i will get back to it at some point um Mythbusters, sorry, that show's canceled. Um, what are some other shows? How To is still going. Uh, Let's Fail, of course, I'm keeping that around because who knows, maybe you guys will get to see a very strong reaction of me raging to something down the road, which would be fine, but not for my health because I don't want to die of getting pissed off. I don't want to develop some sort of heart condition down the road and end up going into cardiac arrest and dying. Because I've been trying to mellow out, mellow out a little bit my own ways so that way I don't rage as hard as I used to. But yeah, like I said, Minecraft is dead too. Um, yeah, I don't know what other shows there are that that are on my channel, I would have to look back at them and just to just to see. But you guys kind of got the gist of it. If I haven't uploaded it in a long anything to that playlist in a long time, chances are it's either dead or put to the halt. Um, but most likely dead. But this isn't the end, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm just preoccupied for the moment. I will get back to uploading videos at some point. In the meantime, I've just been posting Talking Points videos and Anthem News videos. I will get back to this, guys, and I really hope that you understand that, that you can understand that and, um, and hang in there just a little bit longer. Um, I would like to keep this channel going and keep it growing as much as possible. I mean, the facts are at some point down the road, as much as I'm, I'd, ha I'd hate to admit it, it, the show will probably come to a close at some point down the road, but I don't want that to happen for years. I want to keep going. I want to at least make it to 10 years doing this. I mean, it's going to be tough because life happens and all that. You find a job, you graduate, or you graduate college, you find a job, you meet the love of your life, you make a family, and then just kind of all your free time just goes away. Just... Life is tough on on yourself, you know. When you're when you're young, your schedule's more flexible. You have more time to do things that you want. But it's not to say that you don't have freedom at all when you're older. It's just you got to find things. It's just you got to find stuff to do that keeps you interested. I don't know if I phrase that right, but you just got to keep yourself occupied. Because a lot of people always have that stereotypic view that life is about sitting behind a cubicle and then it's the same routine every day. It doesn't have to be like that. You can have, you can play in life any way you want. But I don't want to go off on a tangent and start talking about whatever you can do to make yourself happy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I got for that. Um... What else is there? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys haven't checked out Impractical Students yet, uh, look that up on YouTube. Um, yeah, we're a fairly new channel. I think we have like 15 subscribers already, which is a pretty good start. Um, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit jealous because my YouTube channel didn't pick up that much traffic that fast. Our first couple videos have nearly a hundred our first video has over 100 views, and our second video has almost 100 views. Um, yeah, we did a fake petition prank, and then we did an exercising a public video. Um, feel free to check that out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I really hope you're un very understanding of my situation. Um, but anyway, I thank you guys so much for all the support you show me, and I will talk to you all later. See ya.